This year has been such an awesome year. I've had some great experiences. I've got to do some things that I really enjoy and I've got to use some awesome tech over the course of 2019. So I thought that as 2019 comes to a close and we move into 2020, that I would talk about some of my favorite tech items from 2019. I'm gonna be talking about eight items today. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first bit of tech that I'm going to be talking about from 2019 is the Mavic Zoom. This drone is so small, it can fold up, it can fit in a backpack, so already it's really impressive. Then on top of that, it has the zoom lens, it shoots 4K video, it takes awesome photos. This drone is definitely the best drone that I've ever owned, and it is definitely a good competitor out there in the drone market. Now, of course, DJI is only competing against themselves at this point, but the DJI Mavic Zoom has great features to offer. It is an awesome drone and I've loved using it in 2019. It's so easy to chuck that thing up in the sky, get a quick shot and then pull it back down, chuck it in my backpack and leave. It is just, there is no hassle. There is, I can't express how easy and how great the experience is when using that drone. It is just so good. The footage looks great. The photos look great. All in all, a great product and definitely goes on the top list of my favorite tech items from 2019. Now in 2019, I wanted to upgrade my hard drives. I wanted to get some drives that I could really trust and rely on. And a name that is really trusted in the hard drive industry is Lacey. And so for the first time ever, I bought myself a Lacey drive, a one terabyte Lacey drive. And I loved it so much that I bought myself a second Lacey drive, a two terabyte Lacey drive. So now I am the proud owner of two Lacey drives, one terabyte, two terabyte. They also have the booster board stickers on them because they look like a booster board. <laughs> um, but these two drives are great. The Lacey drives are awesome. It's, it's amazing to be able to have storage that I can definitely rely on, that I can drop without ease, that I can get water on without any worry whatsoever. You have no idea how stressed I was before using just normal drives and when I plug them in, when I drop them accidentally, I would get so stressed. But being able to have a drive that I can like trust wholeheartedly 100% with all my footage, all my photos is great. Just having it there, having it being so reliable is just awesome. So this has been another one of my favorite tech items in 2019. It's been great to be storing all my footage, all my photos. I literally use this and this almost every single day. Now, speaking of storage, one thing that I did also invest in this year in 2019 was a SanDisk SSD drive now this is a 500 gigabyte drive not massive not super like crazy storage but the speed on this thing is ridiculous and the size like this is my phone and this is the drive this is that lacy drive that i showed you before and this is the sandis like this thing is incredible. It's so small and so versatile. The speed that I get off that thing is insane. I run my Final Cut project files off that drive and I do any quick transfers I need to off that drive as well, just because it is so fast and so reliable and definitely another product that I would highly recommend. If you've ever, ever wanted to get an SSD or something like that, there's some great SSDs there out, out there on the market, like the Samsung, I think they've got an SSD, um, Seagate Se or something, I don't know, the tr I can't remember the brand. They might have an SSD, but SanDisk is definitely the brand that I would highly recommend. They make great SSD drives. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my Canon 6D Mark II. This has been another one of my favorite tech items of 2019. I love using this camera. If you're looking for a good camera to get into the um, full frame game, like your first full frame camera from Canon, the Canon 6D Mark II is definitely the way to go. Great pictures, great film, all in all, such a great camera. Also flip out screen so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Such a great camera, I love it. All right, let's get back to the last four items. So I started off this year with a pair of Beats Studio 3 wireless headphones that came through with my laptop. They're the Overia ones. Um, and as I started using them, I realized that they weren't as comfortable as I'd hoped they would be. They were a bit uncomfortable in my head, wearing them for long hours hurt up here in my head. They just weren't that comfortable, they weren't that great. And on top of that, I'd heard that the sound quality is way better at other competitors, other headphone companies. So I thought, why not make the jump and buy myself a new pair of headphones? And the headphones that I went with were the Sony 
WH, I forget the long word. It'll be somewhere on the screen, but it's these Sony headphones. Now you've probably heard something about these headphones this year. I'm fairly sure they'll probably, probably the best, one of the best pairs of headphones to come out this year. They're great headphones, they're super comfortable, excellent sound quality, and the noise canceling is amazing. This thing has like, something like has so many mics around the outside of it. I don't know the exact number, but it has a bunch of different mics around the headphones that are used to create that noise canceling feel. So when you put the headphones on, there's next to no noise that you can hear. On planes, they're great. I'm sure, I haven't actually used it on a plane yet, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm assuming they're great because of what I've heard about them. They're great around the house and stuff like that. And they're also wireless. So for you users like me who are iPhone users, don't have a headphone jack, kind of sucks, but you know, this is wireless. Google users, don't have a headphone jack. This works for you as well. Samsung users, uh, you guys got a headphone jack, but oh, I guess you can plug in here. So I guess, I guess they're headphones that are great for everybody. I'm sure you could find a reviewer online that knows a bit more about all the mics around the headset and they would give you a proper comprehensive review. But from for what I've used them for and for, I pretty much use them every day. They're a great set of headphones, good for editing good for you know watching your Disney Plus watching your Netflix all that stuff I pretty much use these headphones every single day and so they're so awesome I would highly recommend the Sony I still don't know the name <laughs> these Sony's though highly recommend them so earlier in the year I went looking for my iPad mini I wanted to start using my iPad again and unfortunately for some reason the thing had died like it wouldn't turn on which is kind of annoying because I really wanted to use an iPad. So I thought I would treat myself and buy myself a new iPad. And the iPad that everyone was talking about, the one that was super popular at the time, and probably still is, is the iPad Pro. And when I first got this iPad, I was super skeptical about how much I would use it, how often I would use it. But I could say that I pretty much use this iPad every single day. And this iPad kind of falls in the perfect spot where it's like between your phone and your computer, where it has a lot of features that an iPhone would have, but then it also has a lot of features that a laptop would have, and then it fits in that nice comfortable spot in between the two, where it's not quite a computer, not quite an iPhone, but it's an iPad. And it has the features that the computer has, has the features that the phone has, and it brings them all together nicely into a nice little package. Apple has done a really good job with this device. It's got Lightroom, it's got Word, it's got Photoshop, it's got YouTube, it's got Netflix. <laughs> Whether I'm writing up a little note, editing a photo, watching some Disney Plus, awesome Netflix, this device comes through every single time. I even use it as a second display with the new operating system on Mac. You can use it as a second display. It's great for that kind of thing. If you don't really like using computers and you're looking for something that's a bit bigger than your phone and you think that you can salvage some of the stuff a laptop would offer you, I would definitely recommend going to the iPad because it's almost a computer. It's almost. With all the files, updates, like I can transfer stuff from my SD card to my hard drive. I can plug USB-C stuff in it, by the way. USB-C, awesome addition. Um, but it, yeah, it can almost replace your computer. So if you're looking for that tablet that can kind of replace your computer and then you can use it on the daily, every day, highly recommend the iPad Pro. Now the last item, well, not the last item, the last item I'm going to be talking about in this section. There's still one more item after this. But the second last item that I'm going to be talking about is the Sigma 35mm f1.4 lens for my camera. This lens is an awesome lens. I think I only got this lens maybe three or four months ago, so I've only had it for a little bit. But pretty much whenever I go to shoot anything now, this is the first lens that's on the camera. It's basically always on my camera just because I love it so much. The build quality is excellent. The autofocus is fast. It's nice and sharp. It's got that f1.4 aperture, so it's super blurry when I need it to be. Got that great depth of field. I absolutely adore this lens. If you're looking for a lens that's a little bit wider than your 50 millimeter and a great prime lens, highly recommend the Sigma 35 millimeter f1.4. I don't really have much else to say about it. It's awesome. Go get it and try it for yourself. You'll, you'll thank me. It's awesome. At this point, we pretty much covered the base tech of what I use every day. And now we're gonna be talking about a little bit of a more interesting item, you could say. And it's still an item that I pretty much use every day but I, it's probably the funnest, <laughs> the funnest item out of all of them. Definitely the funnest item out of all of them actually. So let's move on to the last item. We've made it to the final piece of tech 
of my favorite tech items from 2019, and that is the Boosted Mini S. That skateboard is so much fun to ride. Whenever I get on it, I have so much fun cruising around estates like this. It's just awesome to be able to go up hills with ease so you don't have to worry about pushing up hills. And then when I'm going down hills, it's got a regenerative brake that regenerates the power in the battery. But when I'm going down hills, it's got that brake so I don't have to worry about getting the death wobbles or falling off my skateboard. It's super hilly around my estate, so having the booster board to be able to get up those hills and down those hills is perfect. If you're looking for a board that can get you from to point A to point B with ease, the booster board is definitely the electric skateboard that you want. There's also a longboard version if you're into that. I personally prefer the smaller one just because it's easier to carry around and stuff like that. But in any case, the booster board or the boosted mini S has been an awesome tech item in 2019. If I had to pick a favorite, I think the booster board would be my number one. I mean, I love all the items on the list, but yeah, I think the booster board's my number one tech item of 2019. All right, back to my room. Also, sorry for the audio quality out here. I'm outside and it's windy and I don't have a, um, I don't have a dead cat for that thing. I don't know if you can hear me right now, but I'm sorry. Apologies for the audio. Back to the video. Oh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. All these tech items that I talked about in this video, I pretty much use almost every day. Almost every day of 2019 from when I got the item. I'd, I'd pretty much use it all the time. I love these bits of tech. They all have their own uses in my kit, in my everyday kit. They're awesome. Um, if you're interested about any of these tech items, I will be leaving links down in the description so you can go and check them out and all that kind of stuff. So as 2019 comes to a close, I hope you all had a very good Christmas, that you have a safe new year. And as we move into 2020, we all start the year refreshed and ready to do whatever we do best, whether that's create stuff, whether we type, whether we write, I don't know what you do, but I hope you do it well. I hope you're excited to do it well in 2020 because 2020 is a new decade and it's time to get right into it. I'm gonna be getting right back into work, getting back into making videos more. I love doing this kind of stuff and I will hopefully, will most definitely be seeing you in 2020 for some more videos. Anyway, that's it for me for now. I will catch you guys in the next video.